Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another vlog. So as you can see, I did finally start pulling some decorations and whatnot out of my boxes. I still have some that I need to go through because I haven't done my tree yet. As you can see, I have not done my tree, but I did go ahead and pull out some of my decorations. You know, I'm gonna have to try and figure out exactly where I want everything to go and how I want it to be, but you got you feel the Christmas vibe, okay? You feel the Christmas vibe and you know how I feel about my mantle, okay? Y'all know how I feel about my mantle. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> so anyways, I just have, you know, some little random Christmas items out and about making their Christmas appearance for the year. It's so funny. There's, we um, had started like trying to collect different nutcrackers or whatever. This one showing up look like a pimp. Don't he look like a pimp? But anyway, <laughs> so, and then I have my military one there, you know, because both of my kids serve in the military there's one nutcracker there but i have my little hat stockings hanging child mm -mm -mm. me hubby brianna dj my kids so yeah it's just like a little festive occasion right here going on got some little christmas trees and whatnot and then my little shelf over here in the corner i've just thrown some random stuff on until i figure out what i really want to do but let me see if I can get some light on over here so it's not so dark. But it's just like different Christmas stuff that I've collected over the years. I really, really love this here. It um, I got to put a battery in it because, you know, the little snow goes around and it has Christmas music and stuff. And this is just like a clear Christmas tree. And that lights up as well. But, you know, whenever I dig my stuff out, I have to put batteries and everything and then I have these cute little like decorative ornament situations. Um, these, the little wagon with the tree. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, isn't it? But those, I believe I got those from Target. Um, where did I get those from, child? I don't know. I think I got them from Target like last year. Fell in love with them, thought they were so cute. But yeah, so just like some little random stuff. I got my little holiday um, deers down there. Just going around. But as you can see, I'm getting a little festive up in here. Still getting used to like a different type of layout in my living room right now. You know, I didn't get to do my decorating and stuff prior to the Christmas situation happening. But it's kind of nice because it's kind of like a blank canvas you know, that I'm able to work with to just put stuff wherever I want. Because usually I have to put all of my regular decorations away in order to get my little Christmas vibe going. So, as you can see, I still have to do my tree. Like I said, I have bulbs, the really pretty, gorgeous, big bulbs that I'm going to be putting on my trees. These little icicles, oh my gosh, I've had these <laughs> literally, let me see. My kids were like in elementary school when I got these like in a Christmas um, name pulling gift situation. The lady bought me these and I've been in love with these. These are like real glass. So when they drop, I used to, one place I lived in had like ceramic tile and the kids would, you know, pull these off and they would drop sometimes. So as you can see, about four of them have been broken over the years, but... I've had those things probably for almost 20 years. So anyway, we're going to do that. Not sure. Last year I had blue in my tree and I had made all of these really pretty blue bows to go on the tree. But I don't think, I don't think I'm doing blue this year. It's my little star topper. Oh, it's cute. I don't think I'm doing blue this year, but yeah. I hand tied all of these little bows to go on the tree last year and they were so gorgeous with the blue bulbs. Y'all, it was shit popping. But I don't think I'm doing blue this year because honey, ain't no, ain't no blue. So yeah, I have to do the tree still and then I have to do my little town with all of my, you know, little things that go in the town, the church and all that good stuff. But that's going to take me a minute because, honey, I don't even know 
where I'm going to put that. I usually put my town over here on this shelf, but now I have so many pieces that I don't think it's going to fit. So anyway, I'll check in with y'all later. I'm going to go ahead and make me some coffee, try to get this day started, and we'll see what happens next. Whoa, oh, oh. Da, 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 oh, oh. Making our Christmas memories today you guys I just went to the post office and you know I don't really like being out here in these streets during the holiday season unless I have to because child everybody and mama be out and that's exactly what's happening right now everybody's at the post office everybody on the street everybody in the parking lot so <laughs> um since there's nothing else really out and about that I need to do today um, I'm just gonna head back home finish up my tree because I still haven't done my tree but I need to have some lunch so I think I got some salads at the house so I need to see if any of my salads are still good because <laughs> sometimes I leave salad in my refrigerator so long that must be wilted for real so but if it's still edible, we gonna eat it, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna see if any of my salads are edible. Who am? Child, people just be hungry. But anyway, I'm gonna see if any of my salads are still edible. Before I finish my decorating. I got a package from Natasha Denona, I believe. I think that's who it's from at the house so I need to open that up I know one of the palettes that I ordered I'm not getting because she sent me an email saying that it was sold out even though I purchased it you took my money you said you was gonna send it to me but she gonna send me an email talking about it was sold out so I had to get a refund or a different palette I'm like I wanted that palette so I know one of the palettes that I ordered is not in there. But other than that, I don't know. Hopefully I get some other deliveries today because Lord knows I've been ordering stuff and show sure haven't gotten them all. That's for sure. So with it being Monday, I'm hoping to get some packages on my porch today. So it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I know tomorrow for sure is going to be in the house doing whatever needs to be done in the house day tomorrow. And I'm waiting. I really, really want my package from Ulta to come. I ordered a few things from Ulta. One of them is like a lip balm from Aquaphor. I've never tried any like lip balms or products like that from Aquaphor. I only use it, you know, when I'm trying to heal my tattoos and stuff. But I was like, they sell a lip balm. Okay, well, I need to try that lip balm because, you know, it works really well. And I think that it would be 
something good to use on these dry chapped lips ever since it got colder and more dry and stuff out here my lips have just been struggling so I know I got a million other balms that I could use but I want to try that one so I'm hoping that it comes soon also be taking forever to deliver stuff out here they used to be you know pretty decent within a you know few days or whatever three four days but now it'd be taking a week or so for them to deliver so hopefully it'll come soon but anyway i'm just on my way back to the house i'll talk to y'all later She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Okay, you guys, so I'm finna sit here, open up my little Natasha Denona box and see what I bought during the sale. But yeah, if you guys have never tried any of these little chopped salad kits, they're actually really good. Really handy to have in the fridge when you're hungry, want something quick and simple that's not too bad for you or whatever, because y'all know I eat what I want to eat, so I try to occasionally <laughs> eat a little bit healthier. So anyway, I'm going to open up this package, enjoy my little salad, and I thought I saw somebody coming to my door, but anyway... And um, y'all can see what I got from Natasha Denona. It ain't much. You know she expensive. Okay, you guys, so this is what I have so far with my tree. Um, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of keep it simple with that. Ah, I don't know, though. I'm kind of missing my bows, but I don't know where my red and green bows are. Uh, I like it like this. Let me see if I can find my bows. Okay, you guys, so I just set up this little shelf over here because, quite honestly, I don't know where else to put this little town. It's not the most ideal place for it, but I have so many different things that I need to put up that is crazy. So you see over here, I have the coffee shop. I have Riverside Church. Okay, and I live in Riverside, hey. I have the firehouse, so that's the firehouse. I have this little train you know kids on a train I have the tinsel diner I have the little um ice skating rink which is one of my favorites because they actually move around and it lights up and plays music I have this lighthouse <laughs> I have this new advent calendar that I got don't ask me why I got an advent calendar but yeah it's cute and then this one I had last year, which is a cute little town scene with the Santa Claus on top. I think he moves up and down. 
I have this um, water tower. So water tower for the town. And then I have, oh, it looks like they turned it into a little skate rink at the bottom. And then I also have this uh, Christmas tree lot. So I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's a Christmas tree lot. It has a little truck, super cute. So yeah, I have got to take all of these out of boxes and somehow arrange them all on here because honey, I ain't got nowhere else to put them. I still need to put up my nativity scene and I think my nativity scene is going over there next to the fish tank. So y'all wish me luck. I'm about to do this and I'll show you what I come up with. Y'all, I just happened to be looking out my slider to see what was happening. <laughs> Bosco is just living his best life. Are you kidding me? He is seriously just, I don't know if you guys can see him. I don't want to go outside because he'll run to the gate. But do you see, do you see him right here? Like straight up chilling by the pool. Let me come over here. I mean, the screen is there, but do you see right here? My dog is right there, seriously chilling by the pool. Like it ain't nobody's business, okay? I'm just cracking up. Like, really, Bosco? That's your life right now? <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, but he is, Lord have mercy. That dog, I tell you. Anyways, let me get back to work. Do you guys watch Savannah Silver? I've been watching her for years. Oh my goodness, she is so freaking gorgeous. So gorgeous. And the eye looks, get into it, honey. The eye looks are so bomb, okay? And I'm just sitting here like, you know what? I need to go put on some makeup. I need to finish this Christmas decorations, but I need to put on some makeup. <laughs> Just when I look at makeup and just see how just bomb and snatched you can just turn into something. And she does it oh so well, honey. It just makes me want to put on makeup. So I'll probably be doing that later on. If not tonight, definitely doing a purple eye look um, in the morning for sure. So anyways, hey, Savannah. Okay, looking fly as ever. But yeah, let me get back to work, y'all. So you guys, I decided I wanted to try and drink more green tea this week but i want it to be cold or you know iced or what have you so i'm gonna go ahead and take some of these organic green tea bags and i'm going to first um put some you know get me some boil boiling hot water to put the tea bags in and then i'm just going to make a full pitcher of the tea throw it in the refrigerator so that when i want to drink it i can just pour me a glass and if I want to add a little bit of, you know, like stevia or syrup or some kind of no calorie sweetener to it, I can, but I can get more green tea into my system. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really what I want to do, um, you know, because this stuff is supposed to be pretty good for you. And these are organic tea bags. So, anywho, I'm going to go ahead and do that right quick. Um, so it can be in the fridge getting cold and I can just sip on this like all week. Okay. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me. Here's the deal. When you're not here, I'm not the same. Needing a new chapter, babe. Been stuck here in a bed for days. I've been staring at the telephone. Cause when you're gone, I miss your face. Late o'clock, body talk. There's no need to bring it up. Nothing you say makes it better. Mm -hmm. Wreck and fall. So that's it, you guys. Quick and easy way to make some, you know, cold brewed green tea or whatever kind of tea you like, I guess. Um, quick and easy way to make it, you know, steep the bags, pour it into a pitcher full of uh, nice cold filtered water, pour it over some ice, add your favorite sweetener, drink without sweetener, whatever works for you. But 
I'm gonna try and finish this um, whole picture this week. <laughs> we'll see, but very good, very refreshing. Um, I added a pack, two packs of Splenda. I like Splenda. I drink Splenda. Uh, but I might try some other different types of syrups and stuff. You could put honey if you want. Any no calorie, sugar free syrup will do. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. Just in case you were thinking about trying something different to drink, but wanted to be a little bit on the healthy side, add some antioxidants into your system, into your diet. Easy way to do it. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. That's a, yeah, that's an advent calendar. It's cute, huh? Yeah, but how do you see the dates? Oh, I see them, 20. So what's today's date? Today is the 13th. That's this one. What's in there? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. You ain't putting nothing in there. Oh, I'm supposed to put stuff in there? Yeah. Shit, when I buy advent calendars, they come with stuff in them. So, the new stuff... This is new. That's the church. Mm -hmm. That's new. That's the um the diner. The diner. That's new. Uh oh, this is new too. The water tower. The water tower. That's new. But this little part here is like I need to see what's happening with that. Cause I know it spins around, but it's like it's, you know what I mean. But it takes batteries, so I think, I think I don't know. Anyway. Well, you should take a look at it. You don't even know. No, when I took it out the thing, it's like, you know, it comes up, up, it's not attached. And I'm assuming that that's supposed to be attached. So, what else is new? That's new. The um, coffee shop is new. Okay. Uh, the firehouse is new. So, we got two places where they ice skate. Three, I think, at this point. Because we got one, two... two. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh. That's Maybe I was thinking of the little train. So anyways, now I have put, you know, all the little boxes for the cords. You're so, out tomorrow? Yeah. I'll figure that out tomorrow. So This is all, this as big as the town is? And they mean, what you want, a whole country? Yeah. <laughs> well, we, you know, we live in LA. We ain't got the country mm -hmm. yet. <laughs> so anyway, so that's what I have so far, you guys. I think it's going to look nice. You did good, baby. Thank you. And then I have these trees that go sporadically throughout the town <laughs> in the snow. Wait, wait, wait. Did you show up James Brown over there? Is I did. Cousin? I did. The dude looking well, like, where is my cake? I didn't say yeah, it was James Brown. <laughs> I said he looked like a pimp. <laughs> 
Because he do. That's a pimp named Slip Slip back. back. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, they seen that. So. <sighs> really? <laughs> okay, you guys. So my Ulta package finally came. It was on the porch this morning. So honestly, I don't know if it was delivered last night or if it was delivered super early this morning, child. But she here. So let me go ahead and see what I got because y'all know I don't remember. Okay. I sure don't remember. Oh, okay, I remember I did get um, a couple of soaps because they were like on sale. And I thought they were super pretty. So I guess it's the Ulta Beauty brand. You know, I'm all in the holiday spirit right now. So this one is Frosted Berry. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. So yeah, I got just a couple. I think these might have been the only two. Uh-oh. Now this one done got loose. She done broke loose. Let me clean her up. It looks like the top is locked, so I'm not sure how, how it got loose, but it definitely got loose. So thank goodness they put some type of plastic bag on there, you know. But let me just clean her up a little bit. But I thought both of these bottles, <laughs> now it's all soapy. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to rinse that down. But anyways, I thought both of these were so stinking cute. So cute. But yeah, I basically just made made lather right there by adding the wet wipe to the soap. Let's go ahead and clean her up for the video. Make it look pretty. Okay, so this one is glistening snow. And that's what that looks like. I thought those were really pretty. So cute for the holiday season. You know, you can put in your bathroom or put, um, you know, if you have a guest bathroom or something. Really, really cute. Um, oh, I did grab this. Everything has soap on it now. But I did grab this Hall of Fame mini set from Urban Decay. So it has like the mini uh, setting spray eyeliner pencil and then the mascara i thought this would be perfect for me to keep you know for my travel bag something small and mini good quality products so i did grab that i think it was only like 15 bucks for all three all three of those items um what else did i grab oh i got like this um they had you know how ulta has those like little freebies where, you know, if you spend 50 bucks or something like that, then they send you like a bag of freebies or what have you. So that is what this is. Looks like it's a bunch of different stuff in here. So let me go ahead and open this up so I can figure out what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to give to my daughter. Okay, so it looks like this first thing here is Ritual of Ayurveda. What is this? Yeah. Harmonizing foamy shower gel. Ooh, shower gel. Okay. First, I thought it was like one of those hairsprays. But yeah, it's a shower gel. So, honey, I will be keeping that. Move this out of the way. And then this is the Righteous Butter Body Moisturizer. Okay, from Soap and Glory. I have never tried any body moisturizers from Soap and Glory. I don't know if I've tried. Oh, that smells nice. Yeah, I'm keeping that. <laughs> My daughter might not get anything out of here, okay? This Hemp's Original, um, their lotion. So, yeah, Herbal Body Moisturizer. I already know I like this. Let me show you right here. Okay, <laughs> does this tell you I already like this? Yeah, so this is what I just keep right here on my beauty desk for my hands so this bad boy is going in my purse so that's perfect oh this little little goodie bag is nice mega babe space bar detoxifying charcoal underarm bar what okay i would definitely try this okay detoxifying underarm bar yeah i'm keeping that okay 
what is this fur oil pubic hair skin and more what what, what? Hold, hold on y'all hold the phone this thing is so small i can't even read it hold on let me see what this says uh safe for your most sensitive areas and won't stain your skin Oh no, won't stain your silk. Specifically designed for pubic hair and skin, our signature blend of lightweight oils gently softens the hair and clears pores for fewer ingrown and healthier skin. Ah, okay, so I guess you just use this on your little personal furry parts. <laughs> Now, I ain't never heard of nothing like this. Look, look at this tiny little cute little sample. Okay, so. Okay, fur. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Might keep that, might not. Who knows? Okay. Mineral bath salt, joint and muscle essential oils, vegan. Okay. So, this is some little um, bath salt. I might give that to my daughter because I know she likes stuff like that. Guess what? You'll be naked in a minute. Original coffee scrub. Okay, so it's a coffee scrub. Looking like that. So some good stuff for the bath time. This is lemon and sage body butter. I'm keeping that. I love this. Love to throw this kind of stuff in my purse. Throw it in my travel bag. These mini sizes, they do come in handy for stuff like that, you know. They could be annoying when you have like five million of them. Oh, child, look, I have that, honey. I need to use some of this right. Why nobody didn't tell me? Why nobody didn't say, KK, your hands is ashy as the Sahara Desert, okay? Child, ashy the house. Anyway, let me put a little bit of this lotion on. My bad, y'all. I know I'm almost through. This whole unboxing looking just as ashy as can be. Okay, is that better? Ah. Anyway, so yeah, that stuff works good. It smells good too. Okay, Daily Concepts, multifunctional soap sponge, mother of pearl. Hmm, so this is just a soap sponge? Oh, okay. Interesting. So I guess it has like a sponge texture, but it's actually soap. Very interesting. Okay. Never seen anything like that before. But very cool. Child, I don't even know how to close this. Okay. Soap on the outside, sponge on the inside. Okay, that's different. And then I have one more item in here. Sweet spot. Labs, unscented, gentle wash, pH balancing, glycerin, sulfate free. Uh, gynecologist recommended, clean, vegan, cruelty free. Okay, so this is just a gentle wash. Apply to wet skin and work into rich lather. Okay, so it's just like a gentle body wash, I guess. So that's cute. Cute little... um Another little travel size item. Um, I have a few more things in here, you guys. Okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, is this Aquaphor Lip Repair for very dry lips. So they had this on sale. And I was like, you know what? I want to try that because my lips is just, they're suffering right now. So I got that. Um, oh, I also grabbed this Coming to America palette from Uma Beauty. I think this is, I hope this is the other one. This one is called Queen to Be. Uh, one, A Vision of Perfection. Because I grabbed their other palette from the Uma Beauty website. But this one was sold out. So I got this one from Ulta. So... Yeah, this is the one that I got from Ulta. And then this one is the one that I bought from the actual Uma Beauty website. So this is the other one. So, yeah, they're both really pretty, colorful. Let me um put them next to each other just in case you're not aware of the difference or what they look like. 
Um, so this is what they both look like together. So they're both fairly colorful. One of them has the black in there, you see. Um, but yeah, so I got bought one from Uma, one from Ulta because this one was sold out. So now I have both of them. I also grabbed this uh, Revolution Beauty Mattify Matte and Fix Primer. I got this. Um, I thought I already had tried this, but apparently not. So I did go ahead and grab this so I can try it out. See if I like it. You guys know I like mattifying and pore blurring primer. You know what? Honestly, I think because my skin is just fairly normal at this point. Okay, so this is one of the like clear, um, like you know, silicone type primers. So if you like this kind, you can check this one out. But yeah, it's the clear kind. So that's cool. But honestly, I used to really love, like, my favorite was the mattifying and blurring primers. But like I was saying, since my skin is fairly normal, I don't really have, like, super oily or super dry skin. Um, I kind of love all primers because <laughs> there are times when I just really, really want a moisturizing primer. And then there are times when I want a mattifying and pore filling primer. So it just depends, really on what kind of mood I'm in. So, anyways, I wanted to try that. And then, y'all know I'm addicted to brushes, okay? This is like my third or fourth brush set that I have ordered during the holiday season. So, this is the Morphe Rosé Away six-piece travel brush set. Um, Yeah, so I thought it was cute. So let's see what is happening. But yeah, I just got the, you guys know, I just got the Delium, the Delium brushes. So I just got these, which I haven't even used yet. I also <laughs> got the Juvia's Place 12 piece brush set, okay, which is so stinking pretty oh my goodness it's like i don't even want to use them they're so gorgeous and this packaging child have you ever seen a packaging this cute before no so anyway <laughs> i just got those brushes and now i done bought these morphe brushes so yeah yeah i'm and i had i already got five million brushes so it ain't like i need brushes but for some reason, your girl just keep buying brushes. So let me open this right quick. So I like this little container. It's really nice and sleek. It has Morphe on here. So, you know, just in case you forget what type of brushes you bought. <laughs> so these are the brushes in here. Wait, how? hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh, it's a six piece. I was getting ready to go off, child. <laughs> I was like, where's the rest of my brushes? But anyway, this is what they look like. They're cute. They're, you know, shorter than average because they are for travel. So it's a cute little travel brush set that we have here. Let me just show you what this one looks like so you can get an idea. I mean, they feel decent enough, you know. And so this is what your brushes look like. Very cute. Very cute. So, yeah, I'm going to put this with my travel brushes, of course. And, um, you know, it'll be another option for me to use when I travel. So, that's it for this little Ulta haul, y'all. That's everything that I bought. I am really, really happy that I went ahead and spent $50, which I probably would have anyway. But I'm really glad that I did the... $50 and get the free goodies because honey, I can use every single one of them free goodies. Okay. So anyway, perfect. Got it. Love it. Um, I'll give you guys an update on anything that I use in the future. Okay. So yeah. The beautiful thing about going to therapy, aside from healing yourself, is that everything you tell her is confidential. Okay. <laughs> everything is confidential okay so anyways this is my purple look y'all 
I did film it, so I will be doing a little video with a voiceover, I think. Yeah. But this is my purple look. I love how it turned out. It was a whole fiasco, you guys. Power went out. <laughs> Power went out in the middle of my little makeup tutorial, okay? So I got through the eye part as soon as I was about to do my eyeliner and start my complexion. Poof, everything went out. All the lights out. So that's going to be an interesting tutorial for me to edit, okay? Because I had to do part of it over there at the window using a little bit of light <laughs> that's coming in from that window. But I worked it out, okay? So yeah, this is the look, I'm loving it. If you wanna see the tutorial, definitely look for that video on my channel because it'll be coming out soon, shortly, for show, for show. I don't know if I have anything else for this vlog. I think I need to end this vlog here and start another one because I need to edit this and get it up so you guys have something to watch. But yeah, I actually need to finish um, plugging up all of my little, you know, houses and places and stuff for my Christmas town. And I might add a clip of that in here just so you can see everything all lit up. But just want to come in, let you see this look that I did today. And that's it, okay? <music>